Hi, George here, helping you unlock your team's genius. Welcome back to another episode in the series Power of Three, where I'm spending three minutes to share my top three encouragements for any particular subject. In this video, we are going to focus on the sprint goal or the iteration objective, the iteration goal. And with that, let us put three minutes on the clock. Right. So uh, first and foremost, I'd like to clarify that the sprint goal is not the list of each individual item that you're agreeing to take into the sprint. Those are the features, those are the individual um, increments to the product that you are um, dedicating the iteration to. That is not the sprint goal. The sprint goal is the why, it's the purpose of um, how come you've chosen those particular features for this particular iteration that you are working in a team. So um, when it comes to then uh, working out the sprint goal, it is also very, very important to bear in mind that the um, sprint goal is set for the duration of the iteration and it is a stepping stone to get the team closer um, uh, for the product to reach the next milestone on the roadmap. And as such, sometimes you might work out that you can achieve that goal in different ways. And that's why the sprint goal has to be somewhat negotiable. And that is what you dedicate a proportion of the planning meeting at the beginning of the iteration to. So um, the why of the sprint, the sprint goal, the purpose of the sprint of the planning iteration, that is of course set by the product manager or the uh, product owner, but how that has to be negotiable because in the planning conversation with the team, you might uh, come up with very simple yet effective ways of achieving the sprint goal rather than loading up the sprint with too many things that you don't end up needing in order to satisfy the sprint goal. Right? So um, it is also quite important to ensure that you pick a sprint goal that is very meaningful. So if you imagine for a team that is working together iteration after iteration after iteration after iteration, um, we want to ensure that we have consistent intrinsic motivation for the team, intrinsic sense of purpose for every single planning uh, period that the team is working uh, in together. And therefore, you want to pick a um, goal that is truly meaningful, not only for the product, but really resonates with people, right? So if it resonates with the user, it is very likely that it resonates with the team. So make sure that the goal is truly meaningful. And um, that again comes back to the purpose, right? With the sprint goal, you can set a mini purpose for each planning iteration. And uh, when that is very clear, that um, uh, how, what is it is doing for the product, it is very inspiring as well for the team and of course the stakeholders. For example, that purpose can be we need to test our most high, uh, strong assumptions, our biggest assumptions at the beginning of the product lifecycle. Or a little later on, we want to grow our user base and therefore we are gonna do this and that is the goal for this planning iteration. Or we want to um, launch a, a new bigger feature for the benefits of the user and that is the goal uh, of uh, this sprint. So. These were my top three encouragements for your sprint goal. Thank you very much for your time today. Please like the video if you found something useful in it. Please share it with your uh, colleagues and friends in the community. Um, please subscribe to the channel in order to get updated on new videos. And of course, please share your thoughts on this video and any ideas for future videos in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye bye.